When I'm playing a 3D game, I always feel like I'm looking through a window, and I essentially am. Uh, but when I'm looking through this window and I'm playing this game, it's really hard to be immersed in what I'm doing. And even VR today doesn't really fix that, because what VR does is it kind of gives you the same amount of degrees. Uh, I still feel like I'm peering through a window. I'm not getting a lot of the peripheral vision that allows me to be immersed inside of a game. So uh, what, I, what I really want to do is I want to create a view in which I'm getting the same amount of peripheral vision that I would get in real life, um, while still retaining the sort of window that we kind of need on our screens. And I created a 360 mod that allows you, that sort of provided the technology for us to do this, and I made this addition called a flexible FOV slider. Um, there's nothing really new up to about 120 degrees, and Minecraft kind of stops at this point and doesn't get you, let you go any further because it can't really let you. But as we drag up with this new addition, it transitions into something called the Panini Projection. We are near 180 degrees right now, and it's letting you see a lot more than what you were allowed to before. Again, it's still in a small window, but the idea is that you're seeing more of the screen, and, and the world is more easily visible. You can see a lot more. If we go back and we get really greedy, we can, we can keep going. So what the lens did was it just transitioned into the Mercator projection that you know from world maps. Notorious for exaggerating the scale of, of the continents, but it also preserves the shape. So if I look at this tree, no matter where it is, Perhaps a tree is a bad example. Um, it it more it works better for smaller objects. So you can see, no matter where the flower is, it's sort of retaining its shape and changing scale. Another bad example, perhaps, but the Mercator is probably the best compromise that you're going to get with really wide views. The last lens that we use if you drag all the way to the end towards 360 is the equa rectangular this one isn't really great in practice but if you're recording a 360 degree video and putting it on youtube you need to use this projection because that's what it expects uh, so if you put on your vr and you look around inside of a youtube video that's that's meant for something like this it will it will sort of show it correctly so this is just the video format that you need. The idea is that we're not really making the options complicated. We just want to show you what is best for the FOV that you want to see. Standard, transitioning to Panini for the sort of mid-range that best represents your, your real world FOV. And going out to Mercator whenever we want to see really wide views. And then finally going out to Equirect when you want to see 360 views uh, on YouTube, for example. Much more to come.